Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to add a MicroTik rotor to Panet Lab. Before we start, we need to prepare a few things. PNET Lab is already installed and ready to use. If you don't know how to install and configure PNET Lab on VMware, please check the link in the description below. Download the MicroTik image file from the official website. Download the raw disk image file with the corresponding version you want to use. Download and install the WinSCP software. Now that we have everything prepared, let's proceed to upload the MicroTik image file to PNETLAB. Next, we will enter the IP address, username, and password of PNETLAB to connect. Here, we will create a new directory for MicroTik following the prescribed structure. Next, drag and drop the MicroTik image file you have downloaded into this directory. Next, we will convert the MicroTik disk image to the QCOW2 format, which is compatible with NetLab. Log in to the PNET Lab server using your username and password. Navigate to the directory we just created to upload the MicroTik file. Important note, you must rename the file to hd.qcow2 so that Annette Lab can recognize and use it properly. Next, to ensure that Annette Lab can use the file without errors, we need to set the correct permissions for hda.qqw2. Log in to the NetLab server via the web browser, go to System, and select System Settings. Then, click on Fix Permission to set the correct permissions for the file. Now you can use the MicroTik router on Manette Lab. Create a new lab and add MicroTik to it. Select MicroTik Router OS from the available operating systems list. That's it. We have successfully added the MicroTik router to PNETLAB for use. In the next video, we'll dive into how to simulate the MicroTik router on PNETLAB in detail. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.